terms, comments, and stories you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Run, run as fast as you can. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do one more time. Is Radio BAM? Fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM! And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM! <laughs> Shut up, faggot. Here we are. It is 3 in the morning. I didn't know I had to go to L.A., man. So now we have to do this show at 3 in the morning. So this is a pre-recorded show. And uh, we have Rob Scott here. He's a sound man for Viva La Bam. We have Brandon Novak, and we have Oz. And the first thing we need to talk about is what Rob Scott is looking at, which is 100 pages of what? Well, hello. I don't know. Should I start? Start. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is Novak's manuscript for his memoirs, which is a really amazingly interesting story. And I remember when he was first writing this on a notebook, a fucking spiral notebook. And he would, he and I would talk about this, and he'd share stuff with me and let me read it. And did I'm, you think when he was telling you eight months ago that it was really going to actually be finished one day? You know what? In my heart of hearts, I thought it would be, but I did have my doubts. I got to be honest. I got to be honest. Remember, uh, remember when he was kid. drinking like yeah. shitty shit fruit punch with booze in it at yeah. State of Bam? Yeah. And he was sitting there all hammered, and he had one shoe on, and and the other shoe was a, a roller skate. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, yep. Rob Scott was always the guy I like to talk to. Can you hear me, Rob? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Rob was always the guy I like to talk to because no matter how much of a piece of shit he thought I was or everyone else, he gave me the benefit of the doubt. And he was always interested and wanted to hear what I had to say. You know, so for you to say that now is brilliant, man. You know, a lot of people thought I wouldn't do shit with it, man. But yeah. it's, it's pretty much done at this point. But that's what I'm saying is that, that really nobody thought you were going to do that. You know, you're just scribbling and scribbling, and it was like, whatever. And, uh, and I kept reading little bits and little bits. He'd share stuff with me and ask, what do you think of this? Does this make sense to you? Dude. I'm like, yeah, I love it. And now I I'm looking. I can't believe this. this is so, I'm so proud of you. I read the whole motherfucker. Is it great? The whole goddamn thing. Yeah. Unless he hates reading. He no, really shut should. up. I really like should. it all. Yeah. I like it. The only complaints I have is that each chapter, there's always one sentence that goes, I mean, comma, fuck, comma, I've been on heroin for seven years. Like, there's always that comma, fuck, comma. That but I that's hate. him. That's how he talks. That's, that's his that's, syntax. That's how he talks, which sounds good when he talks, but when he's writing that yeah. down, it just makes it sound unintelligent. So yeah. when I'm writing it, he'll be like, write what you want, buddy, but I'll like, just pay the difference to have it uh, like, eliminated. So yeah. like, now, <laughs> now that I see him reading it and he's eliminating it, which he can do because he's the boss of all this shit, yeah. I think twice about it. I still believe and feel it should be there. But that's what he does, man. You, you know, know, it makes you think, but I mean, it, it, it puts flavor in there, and that's you. <laughs> and I didn't know we were serving hors d'oeuvres. Anyway, um. Ben <laughs> <so. laughs> just shoved a dildo in my mouth, about an eight foot long. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I had a hors d'oeuvre. I kind of liked it, though. <laughs> oh, nice Christmas lights. <laughs> Halloween lights. Lovely Halloween nights. Halloween nights? Yeah, that's looking for those. Are you going to Jesse's wedding? I'd love to. You better you faggot. Yeah. I have a dad. Now that you're in the area. He's not a faggot. He has a girlfriend here. No, well, I'm a faggot. I have a fiance. I Rob Scott, fiance. how old are you? Cheers to you, Rob Scott. 40. You just say 40, what you want to say. 47? What was that? Hmm? 47? Yeah. You're 47. Yeah. Is Dude, it, does it, he look 47? <laughs> I'd fuck him because I think he's like 24 shit. and I'll get street creds. If you don't know who Rob you Scott is. street creds if you fucked him? If you don't know who Rob Scott is, he's the guy who was on Limo vs. Lambo. Uh, I did the mini rev line. Bam says, "Yo, Rob, do you have audio?" And they turn around to Rob Scott. Out of the he's entire the five seasons of Evil of Bam that Rob Scott has worked on, he's been in one episode, and it's in Limo vs. Lambo when I put on the uh, the glasses that have yeah. the eyeglass yeah. cam, and I go, "Rob Scott, do we have audio?" And then he goes, "Yeah, it's it lasts one second, and he's in it." Yeah. And feel close, you know, what during the Christmas thing, and also during a uh, scavenger hunt. You were in Scavenger? We, they, we blew by me a couple of times, you know, because we were running past. Remember, that was when we allowed cameras in the shots? Remember that? Yeah. In the old days before the I TV. like seeing behind the scenes. I love, love that stuff. I thought that was really, like it. It would make, it's what made the show original. It only happened because fucking Boy Wonder here made it happen. Yeah. Do you remember that Anna hated me? Yeah. She wanted me to die. The only reason why she paid me 
is so she could be my boss, so I'd listen to her. Yeah, did you know that? <laughs> Do you remember Dude, FHM show? Novak shot? never yes. got paid the entire, every so show that Novak was on, he never got paid until he was just... FHM. Like, uh -huh. he, he would just be like, he would go to the boss of the show and just be like, Yo, DeVito! What's that, Novak? Order me a fucking pizza! What? I'm the director of the show, I'm not ordering you a fucking pizza. Well, then fuck you, motherfucker. Like, you just give everybody the hardest time. Finally, they're like, dude, let's just give Newberg a thousand dollars an episode, then you can't bitch about anything. They couldn't find me because they didn't I remember that. Me. I remember that. So the prime fucking situation was the FHM. I know. And it hollered at me so I hard. Hell. I'm like, bitch, fuck you, man. You don't give me shit. You're not my boss. Bam, to deck there. And then uh, I said, Novak. <laughs> I said, Novak. Just wear like like sketchy ass like <laughs> fruit of the loom whitey tighties and come out in biker boots and serve us drinks. Instead of doing that, he goes into my room, puts in a porno, and then he gets a hard on, starts jagging off with lotion, comes out with a full blown hard on. He comes out with a glazed. Down. And you could tell that it had lotion all over because his dick was shining like a diamond boy. <laughs> Fresh out of the fucking jewelry shop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Anna had to reevaluate her life, man. But you know what? I Anna really had to contemplate her life and what is she doing and like I can't believe I am a producer of a show that has people coming out with hard ons with biker boots. Uh, with biker boots and a rock star belt. Bitch, we're not filming the Golden Girls, man. It was definitely on the Golden Girls. But Although we filmed more episodes than the Golden Girls, we're not filming that. And you probably outsold the Golden Girls. Maybe. And I think, I think if any of the Golden Girls had seen you, they would have done you with that glazed heart on, buddy. That's What's what one of their names? Well, Ruth? she had B. Arthur. Ruth? Ruth, yeah. I could have banged Ruth out. Not would you hump her? I'd hump anybody. The price is right. She's really? so hot. Yo, prime example. I'm sleeping. Dipshit kicks my door. And he doesn't knock. He kicks my hotel room in at the Miami Awards. I'm sleeping right. at 6 p.m. Right. He's like, yo, get dressed. We're going to the awards. Bam, I don't have no fucking ticket, man. Let me sleep. No, get dressed. All right, bam, what do I wear? He's the boss. He gives me the goddamn keyboard to the fucking computer. Right. Tape it on. I got more publicity than I could think of, man. <laughs> Wasn't it a wise decision? Man, I'll, I'll, like, wait, I'd probably that... suck your dick and swallow right wait, now if you like. Is that... Dude, think about it. It's just an ass, and at least you don't have a fat ass. No, like, you're your life you was put duct tape on it with like a keyboard, and then people will just be like, "Who's the guy with the nice ass that looks kind of minging with a keyboard around it?" Yeah, I'm doing the right, I'm doing the white card because they insisted. I look next to me is the game. He's like, "Yo, nigga, what kind of fucking outfit you got on?" The game said that. Think. The game said that. Did he really? Right next the to game us. was there. He was right next to us. Do you like him? I, I, he's my uh, my idol. One of them. Do you like P Diddy? No. Yeah, I respect his business aspect. Mm -hmm. He started out as a goddamn fucking, uh, as a dude that runs against coffee with people, mm -hmm. you know? But now he's like, making millions. I can't deny that. Like, the real world faggots. The real world fucks. Bam, you left me at the bar tonight, right? The real world guys, Brad, you know Brad. Fuck him, let's call names. Fuck him. I, I don't care about this. This is Novak that said it. Really? He's like, yo, I'll take you back. I'm like, ah, nah, we really don't care if you're kind at our house. My yeah. house. I, really I didn't give him the money. Wait, here, you said here's that? Here's our real world. My house. Wait a minute. Yeah. Did they show up at Kildare's tonight? They were there. And what did you say to them? They were filming out front of Kildare's. This is like, yeah, my babysitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're still Cameras filming that garb? Yeah. Like some random black dude, like, who's this guy? Did you know who he was? No. Fuck him. But they're like, yo, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta stretch SUV coming up for you. And you were like, yo, we gotta hightail it out like, here Novak, right we'll take now. you home. I'm like, nah, we gotta do a show and uh, I don't want you on it. I would never bring your name into a band, you know? Because you don't need that controversy. But fuck that, man. So I didn't even know they were still shooting that. Are they shooting that show in Philly still? Therefore, I'm going to an after party after we're yeah. done this with Brad. Yeah. To fuck these girls. The only problem cool. that I have is that, think about it. The real world are just nobodies that end up getting filmed. They're like a guy like me who does random They're shit all day. They're like a guy day. like Oz. Oz wakes up, works like, at oh, Fairman, works at Fairman, does his fucking college homework, gets drunk, and then goes to bed. And some dickhead films him, and then here he is famous when he goes to the bar. You're not famous, you're just a dickhead who did homework, worked at Fairman's, and then drank beer at the bar. Like, who the fuck are you, Brad, from the real world? I'm not gonna go do He might be a cool dude. He's not, he's a but, fucking But homework. why does he have to wind up getting ten amounts of pussy over the fact that he just does homework, drinks beer, and then goes to the college? You know what? It's a celebrity factor. If you're in front of a camera and chicks see you on TV, it's, they want you. Well, shit, if I have to pay $500 to be in front of a camera every day, then I could continue that. 
He's wow. all about popping wheelies on his motorcycle, and you. How know about the it. fact That's that the only I'll, thing? Yeah, I'll take a uh, chance to like break my neck tonight just for fucking film creds without money. You know what I mean? Like this dude films our conversation, then he does bar tours and signings. You know, like suck a dick, bitch. You did nothing to deserve this. Wow. Well, you know what though? But he's got it. I don't know. I don't knock it. No. You know get why? Get where you fit in. Because yeah. college girls are so busy being fucking drunk that they go, Ooh, I saw him on MTV. Yeah. You know what you saw him doing on MTV? Nothing. He saw him just <laughs> He didn't do around. anything. He didn't do anything talented. He wasn't playing the piano. He wasn't rocking to a guitar. He wasn't dancing. He wasn't skateboarding. He wasn't doing any cool tricks. He wasn't even doing the movie. He wasn't well. doing anything. Nope. He was arguing with his dickhead gay buddy that they always have to have on Real World. They always have to have a gay guy. Yo, yeah. I told Ben. They're probably like arguing. That. The, the real world guys called me tonight, Novak here, right. and they're like, yo, we have Novak a limo, here. come with us to fucking go to like, these bars in a limo. I tell Bam, I'm like, yo, let's get him on the show so I can dog him out. He's like, dude, I don't even respect them enough to have him at my house. You know? And I, <laughs> is that I what you think said? Well, I asked you to have him here for the show. Oh, is that what you told him? And I asked you. I didn't tell them that. I would oh. never like do that wrong. But you tell them that we don't even want him at the house? So therefore, they, they wanted to give me their limo oh. to bring me home. I'm like, nah, man. Uh, we're just gonna do the show and uh, I'll meet you later. So uh, we have some good fucking uh, voicemails that we should play. See, I don't hate them. I just, I just think that they're just like everybody Top else at Westchester University. And we, yeah. I don't like frat boys, man. I hope they die quick. <laughs> yeah. Anytime I ever get in any kind of fucking drama, it's always a frat boy going, "Yo, do a fucking show me." I already did thirty shots. I don't feel like doing another. Oh, so you said I could out drink you? Yes, you got drink you. You fucking pussy then. Mm. Like they're always just trying to start drama. It's you like know, that. You're Being right. I remember, remember the night you and uh, you and Tim out Where's there. Where's Fireball Ministry? <laughs> they're. I, I like them. Probably record. They're on tour. What are you gonna say? Aren't they CKY? Do a song? Play it. They, What's it called? Sunburn, Tom. Aren't they opening for CKY? Sunburn? Something like that. Is that true? Let's know the exact well, terminology. We have, uh, who's over for CKY, man? With your $10,000 diamond watch on, man. That's Have you guys seen that watch? It's awesome. Viking skull and clutch. Yo. Oh, yeah? That watch, man. You if like I it? decide to relapse with drugs, hide it. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> That'll take you for a week or two. You know what, Wouldn't though? It? I've seen a lot of fake ass watches on 52nd and Market, and I never knew yeah. the difference, but like, it's now that sad. I know this one's real, yeah, it's... when it like shines in a certain ass light, I could always tell that maybe it's probably definitely real. Oh, you, know, you know something about you it? The diamonds are catching the light in such a way. It's absolutely wonderful. I love it. I do love it. Yo, I was trying to finish <laughs> up a few pro a few things I had to write about tonight, and I couldn't because them diamonds kept fucking shining my eyes, man. And I'm like, <laughs> that thing is real. Yo, millionaire, if I shoot up again, hide the watch. Yeah. It's worth well, let's like this one to the uh, watch called... Giannato. Hmm. Sounds Italian. Let's devote to your father who lost so much weight to earn hey, you that watch. Bill <laughs> lost weight to give me a diamond watch. Cheers and I Bill. jacked off shining like a diamond, boy. This is Fireball Ministry, Sunburn on Radio Bam Sears 28 Faction. Fuck in. Yeah. Turn off the hi fi. Holy Lord, I gotta go strap yourselves in and lace up those shoes because you're listening to Radio Bam. On Sirius 28 Faction. Uh huh, that was Fireball Ministry, <laughs> and it's not even out yet. I get these CDs before they even come out, which is why you need to listen <laughs> to the fucking Radio Bam because I get this shit before you even hear it. You know what? I yeah, love that song. Deal. You do? Yep. Well, yep. And Viva La Bands, that was great. Don't care. Like you know, I gotta guy. say, the back of that CD cover, best rock star shot ever. On you top like of the Alps, totally. That I was good. Totally. I agree. Best you were rock there star for that. shot ever. I know. It was on it top was of the Swiss rock. Alps. Well, Rob Scott, I would tell you to go get Fireball Ministry, but being it's not out yet, I'd say count down the days and then count from one to eight and then go to the record store and get it. I'll get it. Hey, when we have Oz here, we have Novak here, me and Rob Scott, the sound guy for Viva La Bam. And I want to talk to Oz right now because I was at Kildare's with him and I heard a, this minging ass oh, blonde bitch. No. no, she wasn't minging, she was alright. She's alright. She just turned psycho. Because her name was Bryn, and I saw on your phone that she called you 30 fucking times. No, no, What's let's go about? through. Let's go through. Who it right calls now? somebody 30 times? If you love somebody and they call you 30 times, that could ruin a serious relationship. Within no. two hours, she called. Him we're gonna go. We're gonna go through it Should right we now. Call her and find out why she did it. No, we're gonna go through it right now, and I'm gonna tell you how many times she goddamn called. I'll take too much time. Did you? Yeah. What do you mean you just got home? You're on serious radio. Bryn. You're on serious radio, Bryn. That's great. What? Why did she call so many times? Why did, yeah. call, why did you call me 30 times in two minutes? Huh? Why did you call 30 times last night when I told you not to call after the 20th? 
20 seconds. You're an time. asshole. Like, you're gonna go fucking tell everyone now? Like, I don't give a shit. What do you mean you don't give a shit? Talk to me. Tell me why you called me 30 times. Dude. Because I did. I don't know. Because you did. That's I, I a. Don't even know that. that is a horrible excuse. Know. Give me a better excuse than that, please. What did you really want? Uh, I don't have an explanation. I don't remember last night. What did you want? What did you want? I don't know. You don't probably, know. Probably Come on, Brent. Come on, Brent. You wanted to fuck. Stop the small talk. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking blunt with you. All right. Excuse me. Oh. I'm on the radio right now, then I wanted some ass last night. Thank of you. Of course. You wanted the nice one. I love the brutal honesty. We, we're starting to like you, Bryn. Yeah, this band saw girl. <laughs> Way to go, Bryn. If you How went, are you? She's starting yeah. to be honest. We like that. If you went Bam over, you went me over. Uh oh. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Bam blue. Oh, what? What? Where what is are you? Well, I didn't know I had to go to LA like. Tomorrow, so uh, I usually do a live show on Monday, but now it's three in the morning, and we had to do it on Friday, which means I'm shit tossed. So now uh, we had to bring Oz over here because my real friends can't come over. So Oz, <laughs> being Novak's friend, Dick. No, see, yeah, Novak's yeah, friend. Yeah, we're so important that you're, we're going to a radio show. We're like, oh, okay, goodbye. Yeah, oh, you're see, good. Oz is a friend of a friend. So, <laughs> bitch, you're doing a Vernon Cakes dance right now with fucking see, Joe. I, if Oz wants to be my real friend, walking around you, with them titties, he's got to he's gotta win me over tonight with this Radio Bam show. <laughs> I'm like two minutes from Bam's house. Well, Ooh, get over here. Get over here. here. Get over over here. here. Yeah, come, come on over. over. Novak's going to bang you out. Now come over. No, I want to know the truth. I'll talk to you in a second. Come on. No, no I'm not going to come up with that shit. I'm not going to get harassed all night. I do not want to. Yeah. Nobody's going to harass anybody. You're going to come over and you're going to get banged out by Novak. That's the end of the story. I won't have No. Please. Are you on the speakerphone? No. Yes, you no. are. Yes. Yeah. Everybody's listening. Yes. All right, Bryn. Don't no pick me up. No. Pick you up? Where are you? You're not that important. <laughs> no, she's sort of important. Oh, okay. Can you just talk shit on me all night? Yeah, now. Novak. Why'd you oh. do that? Slap me. Very Apologize. Nice. I'll slap him for you, babe. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh. Oh. See? <laughs> People care about you. No, yeah, they okay, do. Come here. You know Get where? Over here. You know where we live, right? <laughs> Get over here, babe. We have 30 more minutes of radio play. I'm you gotta come phone. over and make it happen. Take your microphone. Go on, Brad. Hurry up. We need answers. We'll get her here. Yeah. We need her. No. What's yeah, up? Come pick me up. I'll, I'll go over there. I, I'm just you, not if you know where it is, and you come over here right now. Well. It's going nowhere. I'm not far. All right, we'll come get you. We're not far. We'll Still come get you. We're in Pekovsen. How, how? It's We're always far. You. We're in Delaware. Unionville's fucking far from Pekovsen. For Christ's sakes. You don't even know where you live. We're in Delaware. Christ's Christ sakes. Let's talk about our own shit, fam. Yeah, what are we going to talk about? We have recordings. What kind of recording? I have some, you have some. Or is this like, is this like Psycho oh, Girl Night? Is yeah. that the deal? Okay. Uh, Yo, that psycho Girl Night? Seriously, Psycho. Let me, though, let me tell you this. A lot of girls are psycho, dude. Let's use Girls just wind up psycho. Let me okay. just tell you this, that my, my fiance Trish. Yes, sir. 237 text messages in the space of 12 hours Holy from my ex. Shit. 237. Saying what? Dude. Didn't you give her six grand and she's denying to give it back? I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. yeah. And then also something else. Yeah. You were down in Mexico. You saw the She whole sent all these messages to all of our friends that you were gay. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I thought heard you were gay. You, you were like, I'm Rob Scott and I'm gay. Yeah. And then you told me it wasn't me. It was my ex-girlfriend because she's trying to ruin my life. Do you know what she did now? She what? sent she sent vo uh, emails out and plus faxed a letter to Viva La Bam, to the production company that did Viva La Bam with us. Saying that I resigned, that I hated working with everyone, I would never work with Viva La Bam. Dude, or that's major Super Bowl type shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting kind of tired of she it. She probably has nothing to offer, though. Pretty much. She's like, upset. if you suit her, all you could get is probably tits and pussy. I don't want it. Don't want it. So then you're screwed. I had it. You know? Boy, you I've, got a, I've got a wonderful woman, I'm very happy with her, and that's what's, that's what's pissing her off. So, you know. Yeah, just like Missy's ex-boyfriend. Oh, man. Speaking of Missy's ex-boyfriend. Yeah? Listen, what? We went to Blarney Stone the other night. Okay. His minging ass was there. He was all hammered and shit. And I had Novak go up to him and confront him about... Dude, he calls up Missy's mom and says, like, 
Bam was at uh, Duffer's the other day, and he was banging some girl out in the bathroom, and no uh, da, 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 total false info shit. Right. And then we went to Blarney Stone. Right. And he thought that I was there with my homeboys, which I was. You were. But he had no idea that Missy was there. So he was like, oh, I'm looking at Bam, French and chicks right now, Missy. You have no idea. I can't believe you left him for me. Oh, awesome. my God. Oh, dude, he's what so a good. fucking idiot. Here's the yeah. funny part. Well, let's play these messages that. right now. I want to hear them. <laughs> yeah, that'd be Seriously. great. They'll get it ready. I'll tell you the story. Okay, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm his it. homeboy, man. I'm going to ride or die, man. Whatever he says sure. goes, right? So the dude... He P calls himself P-fucking. P-fuck goes to the bathroom. All right. Why am I here watching them make out with some girl? When you serve his girlfriend. Huh? Why am I here Watching Sam make out with some girl without fire as a spurt. It was Missy, you stupid ass. Brandon comes up to make friends with you. Sam wants to make friends with you. Brandon says, Sam wants to make friends with me. Why are you letting Sam fucking hook up with other girls? What the fuck did you give up? What a moron. Oh my god. Game on. Yeah. He's so pissed that he got broken up with. <laughs> Wait, there's better ones. Let me get that number. Yeah. Missy, give me the other one. Let me get that number. Man. You know what it is? And then we're calling it. It's just jealous shush, shush, people. Wait, what? This is P Funk time. This is the making out with girls. He's up here with his fucking buddies. Brandon came up to me and said, I didn't talk to you. Fuck Brandon. What are you doing, Austin? You gave up the best fucking thing in your fucking life. So you're making drunk ass keep going. P-Funk. Thank you. 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 We love each other. Everybody boo him. He walks in a fucking glory suit, everybody. Boo that was your buddy who wanted to kick in the Lambo, you homo. <laughs> Get the fuck out You got kicked out. Can we, then you were left with no one. Play the other one. one. I want the number now. Play the other one. I'm calling him. Can you hear us? In one minute, I'm we're calling him. We're calling him. I'm calling him. Sorry. I am. Here's the other one. I fucking love everything for the fucking little dirty. He's hurting. For sure. I mean, this is how minging he sounds. He's punching hey, balls right, right now. Fuck this. Waste you time. You took my fucking baby from me. <laughs> I will fuck you in the world. I will murder this guy in a heartbeat. Are you fucking in love with him? <laughs> he's a loser. Oh my god, dude. He's losing sleep every night because of this. Missy. Too bad he fucked Elaine, though. That's the problem. Doubt that. If me. he didn't fuck Elaine, then he probably could have still been with you, but... You know. You so what did he do? You cheat on you or what? Let me see that. No, he was just an asshole. Let me see if I'm. Uh, he sounds oh, like yeah. it. You know, he left jealous the bar bitter like. Bitter asshole. Yeah, he sounds bitter and jealous. It's like oh, that's what happens. Well, jealous ain't no, the fucking well, word. The, what do whole, you call that? The whole time that him and I were together, Sing he me. always would like have not nice things to say even, about Bam. I haven't spoke to her for four years, and even if I like showed up on TV while they're flicking channels, yeah. he'd be like, there was channel, no MTV watching in our house, just in case like anything that had to do with like Viva. Bam came on, so it was just a matter of timing that like him and I happened to break up, and then like two weeks later, Bam and I ended up together. Yeah. So he's like extremely bitter about the whole thing. He leaves the bar every night, kicking tires, punching oh, yeah. rearview you know mirrors, oh, yeah, side view mirrors. Like, well, yeah. the, the funny <laughs> thing is, we we went <laughs> Look, home together the and funny thing about is, it, and he's like. That's the only thing on his mind hey, the whole hey, night. The, the bar. funny thing is, his friend got caught by a bouncer saying that he's going to kick the Lambo in. So the bouncer came up to me and he goes, "Hey, that guy in the blue striped shirt there says he's going to kick the Lambo." And I'm like, yeah. "So then I totally confront him about it. I'm like, you know what? Kick this fucker out of the bar." Everybody <laughs> clapped when he left the bar. P Funk was left there alone. Oh man, poor. Oh, P -Funk. dude, it was so good. It you couldn't know, have worked out any motherfucking better. You know what? I remember. Before meeting you, Missy, I was watching. I was watching Haggard. If you people out there, if you haven't seen Haggard, that, Buy it. that, that all the guys did, go. Missy's actually Haggard. in it. Missy's actually in yes, it. I was, and I was watching it. 
um, I, uh, it was like a couple weeks ago. In the Invention and of the Future Contest. In the Invention of the Future Contest, and on the bleachers, she's sitting right next to Bam, they end up talking. I was like, oh my God, that's Missy, because I hadn't met her before when I first saw the movie. So if you guys out there haven't seen that movie, she these guys the did. Big ass titties in the background trying to wind up fuck. Yeah. I mean, was, no, 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 no. I thought it was no, a no, really no, good sorry, movie. That wasn't me. I no. really liked it, and I saw it before, before we came out here to do Viva La Bam. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's called Haggard. And Bam and the guys did it themselves, and uh, they did a really good job. Check it out. Well, shit. Um, shit, what? I'm gonna play a fucking song, and then we're gonna talk what more we gonna play? shit on people that we oh, hate. Yeah. Yo, oh dude, we hate so many people. And being it's three in the morning, and we've been drinking. <laughs> Fuck This em is all. the night where we call everybody out. So Fuck this <laughs> this one goes to the first hymn song ever. It sounds like shit because it was recorded on a four track. But being it's three in the morning, I feel like listen to it. It's called Borellis. It's the first, it's, it was recorded on a fucking four track, so if it sounds like shit, fuck you. And change the channel if you don't like it, because uh, this is my favorite song, so fuck off. No, I gotta say, sorry. Radio Bam Series 28 Faction, Borella's hymn, first hymn song ever. Hey, Bam's on. It's Radio Bam. That's our song. What's up? I'm April Margera. Hi, this is Phil Margera, Bam's dad. Call Radio Bam now at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Why are we doing porn bag? It's easy to remember. That's horrible. That's our son. That's horrible. I guess dial it to call in, but that's horrible. Why don't you read the letter? Oh, no. On Faction 28. Holy shit, that was the first hymn song ever recorded ever in 1996. Borellis. I know it sounded like shit, but I like it. It, it, was, on, it was done on the four track, man. They were only 17 years old. And speaking of 17, this has nothing to do with Novak, but he has a message here of this minging ass bitch that was trying to fuck him. Check this out. You know what I was thinking? Maybe you should have left that needle in your arm a little longer. Maybe you would have done society a favor, you <laughs> fucking piece of shit. See ya. She oh. loves me. She has to say bye. She had the courtesy of, of saying bye. Should we call her and find out why she feels that way? Yeah, it does call her. She's no. not gonna. Eat. That's, That's evil. That's evil. That's evil. Keep that on, Tom Rock. No, she thought that you put a picture of her naked on the internet. That's all it was. Because uh, someone said that, but it's not true. Here. That's well, what maybe, that was about. Well, Alex is here, so maybe you can talk to her. <laughs> Yo, maybe you should have done society a <laughs> favor and left that deal in here a little longer. <laughs> Come on, bitch. Answer the damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the voice now. It's like her boyfriend hollering at me. Oh. Is it really? <laughs> So, like, I was like shopping for Nancy's like birthday present and all. Oh, he's so pissed that you fucked her. Yeah, I was gonna go like this, like, fuck this, like, just oh, dude. And I was like, oh, dude, I'm just gonna get this fucking bag and fucking bag. Getting here, but. Anyways. Oh, dude, that dude is so bitter because you banged this girl out, man. Yo, I banged out with, like, 12 of my friends, man. You know? Yo, we went to, like, where we go, off media or whatever, that exit. Sure. We went to go whatever. see her and her boyfriend's band play or whatever, and then yeah. we end up there. She leaves him while his band's playing to come back to West Ham. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, dude, he actually, gets, he actually gets blown while his boyfriend's out there playing bass and shit. Was, by the way, like, like, it's one what? thing if, like, your boyfriend's out on tour and then you wind up getting fucked. But if you're out on fucking tour and your girlfriend's at the venue blowing some dude in the fucking yeah. bathroom, Jesus fucking Christ, man, have a little bit of morals. She had the nerve to call me and say she left the needle in my arm. Bitch, have some fucking morals and some values. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a girlfriend that I love and, like, I'm fucking everybody, you know? She's hey, nuts, dude. She's she nuts. said yes. She sucked every one of my friends up. <laughs> Joe DeVito, MTV employee. Fuck him if he doesn't hear if he hears it or not. I banged her out while she sucked his dick, you know? Fuck oh, her, man. She's a war. So I when was that? Uh, well, one of the parties here. You never told me about that. You were here for that. Uh, I know, I was here for that, but, but you never told me. You've never heard of that. But you don't yeah. take part in my sex. It's though. probably in my goddamn ass yeah. bed while I was in the swimming pool. You don't take part in my sex, so you But this girl, mine. though, she invites us to a goddamn rock show with her boy fucking playing bass and her guitar. And then she has the nerve to leave the show to come back to Westchester to fucking fuck Brandon, like. Are you serious? But Brandon's the scumbag. Yeah. And yeah, Ozzy's yeah. like the, the all-American yeah. dream. Hey, Bam, how do I become such friends with this fucking frat faggot here? Which is Oswald. Oh, I don't know. He worked at Fairman's. Did he work at Fairman's? Yes, I did. I never, like, see... See, I, never, I was never friends with Oz, and then one day Novak started hanging out with Oz when I started, uh... Going out on tour and stuff, and he'd be, yeah. I'm going over Oz's house. I'm like, who's that faggot Oz? He's like, yeah, 
He comes over here every once in a while and he works on the half pipe. I, got, I like. And I look at Oz. I'm like, this frat boy did not work on half pipes, dude. <laughs> I didn't know. He was, I th I met him during the show. I thought I didn't even know he was a frat affiliated. You know? Oh, he he used to model for kind of. If fish. you ladies and gentlemen you don't know a, Oz, he's a, listen. It's if a you don't know show, Oz, he guy. looks like. Chris, uh, what the fuck is his name? Chris Klein. Chris Klein, Chris Klein better from American looking. Better Pie. Looking. He's better he looks looking. like Chris, Chris Klein from American yeah, Pie. Agreed. That's who he looks like. So that's yeah, the thing. Like, he's better looking. I fuck a lot of people. Who Oz is? Yeah. No, he is. No. Listen, I'm not gay. Like I think he's better looking. Maybe Oz, maybe Oz ate a, one more cheesesteak than Chris <laughs> Klein did. Maybe I did. I might have yeah, he's worthless, <laughs> dude. Oz is worthless. But the thing is that, like... Me and Oz, I don't like his kind. He doesn't like mine, but we mix because like we're night and day, and I like him for that. But he gets so many hot bitches. I fuck like toothless eighty-year-old broads most of the time. He brings these fried bitches home that like love to leave him with a hard dick. So I'm like, why do you do so that? Does he fuck him? Uh, One out of three. One out of three. How really much pussy do you get per week? Don't lie. Per week. Per week or per month? Month. Okay. Per month, maybe two. Okay. <laughs> That's a waste of time for Two a bitches? male fuck. It's not so bad though. If you're if you're humming her more than once, dude, I'm this banging like one bitch every week. Bro. But my problem is though is I take these good-looking girls home, but then I got to deal with these problems and shit, man. Like, it's better off taking the yeah, mediocre the girl. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're, I know like, what you like, mean. For, for like, Brent, for instance, it's like for instance, all right, so it's like, easier to take whatever. the fucking. Okay, if you have a 10 that you're working with, yeah. it's easier to take home the 8 because you're going to mostly wind up getting fucked rather than getting the runaround all night. Yeah, but the 10 is going to call you three times a day be like, when are you going to take me out to dinner? When are you going to do this? And it's like, you know what? Yo, they, they all know, they, the tens are usually pretentious bitches who want fucking money and they want like yeah. So what do you do? Ding. Oh, yeah, Ding. I'm in on that. You know? Ding. Come Yo, on. Oz, what do all your girlfriends say about me? I fucking hate Brandon. Is he hanging up? They, whenever they call, it's always like... I half of them. No. It's always like, yo, yo, what are you doing tonight? Uh, we're hanging out. Well, who are you hanging out with? They always ask, who are you hanging out with? It's like... And I always tell them, it's me, Brandon, whatever. And it's like, I don't know, Mac. I don't want to see him. Tonight. You know what sucks? <laughs> so scary. Every time I hear that, every time I hear that, you. two months goes by, mm -hmm. and he winds up fucking him while I'm in Oh, yeah, way. totally. I bring him back here and bang him out. You you have they always give in. You have the What's unbelievable hit ratio of anybody I've ever met. Sad I, but I have true. never seen anybody get so much Sad ass. As this but guy. why does he do it? I, Who are you talking no, about? Why is he, how does he do it? How he should you should write a book Who? on how to you. Who I got do? talking. I'm talking about Brandon Novak. Who who he, should write, he should write Street a book. Cred, Street on, Cred. On, totally Street Street Cred. I have seen this guy in action. And listen, you know I've been around the block uh, two or three times. I, I give props to you. I got well, to say. What does he do so right? Help you know me. what I think it is? He has no money at all. He doesn't have five dollars in his bank account. He's a fucking loser. Yeah, but he's there got he every go. car that you have, though. You know, no, it's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> but I don't think it's about the cars. I yes, think this guy, <laughs> he he works what he's got, and he. I think it's it's all a, whole, a big psychological game. You know, I'm awesome, he does man. it. He plays the cards perfectly. I have watched him do it. A lot of times, and I'm impressed every single one. I think maybe because he hits it out of the park. M maybe because he has nothing to lose, so he just goes, that's it. Yo, bitch, like, I have nothing to lose. I live at a millionaire's house, and I get to drive this, that, and the other thing. They're not mine, but I get to drive them. I have access to them whenever I want, so if you come to back to the house and bang me out, then maybe you could drive one of them. Like, something like that. You know what? what he, doesn't do? even, no. he doesn't even throw that much out. I've, t nope. I've heard him. You know, I remember, right. I remember I had, you know, I've had a wireless mic or two on this guy. Um, no, you know, okay. this mic or two. Yeah, you two. Did you ever catch him talking shit? With yes, I have. What you did? <laughs> he oh. does not. He does. You not. were there when he was trying to rig uh, up uh, if he wanted to fuck Pinky Farty ass or uh, Dishy Mom. <laughs> hey, I like yo Pinky Farty. Pinky ass. Farty ass. Yeah, he was like check on with Dishy Farty Mom or Pinky Farty ass. <laughs> and I banged the one out and stuffed me like eight smokes. And she's the one that left her kid. Remember? What did you hear on, on your mic? mic? You we were at Bear Creek. He banged some girl. We call her Dishy Mom because. She left her kid at the mountain while she went back to the trailer park to bang him out, and then she wanted to cook London broil for everybody. <laughs> She's like, bring your, bring your crew back. I'm like, London broil. I will not let you cook fucking raw meat with your hands. You've been up in my asshole, been in my. <laughs> yeah, like she's sitting there fingering your ass and shit. Then she's gonna sit there and work with London broil. Not you my home, boys. She you know tells what? place I want to. Yeah, she tells tell her you. kid. She's like, don't you got somewhere better to be? Like, they were at the bar. Like, yo, don't the, you have somewhere better to be? The bitch left me at Newport's, and I and I wrote down. 
down the elevator with her and him in the morning. Okay, on the, way, on the way to show, to, to do this this year. <laughs> and she's like, she looks so happy. Oh, Brandon. This is just got banged out. She totally, she looked like she had the, the JFL. Here's What's my game, Rob Scott? Why was my view? You know what? The game is not about the cars. It's not about the house. It's not about the millionaire friends. It's just that, hey, you Shit, know yes, what? It <laughs> I got it. No, but, I, but when I heard you, he said, now I got this great jacuzzi. We'll have a great time. You know, you and I will just talk. It'll be great. And he just totally... And they say landed it. It's like boom, landed that fish. And then the the next catch is where do you live, right? So I act fucking foreign to it, like I'm mm -hmm. this big time dude from California. And if Bam's not around, I look for anyone affiliated with us. I'm like, yo, um, Rob Scott, where's Bam live at? Seal the deal. Yeah, she's dropping her drawers. She's That's already wet. She's no back name drops so slick. He does it. He, he won't. He, this style. is how he'll name drop, and it's not so bad. It's just like. Oh, really? Like, that's where you're from? Yo, Bam, where are we going to go tonight? And they're like, whoa, Bam, what? And uh -huh. then they look over and they're like, that's who you're with? Yeah, but, uh, you know, we're out of town. So, yo, Bam, where are we going to be? You know, it's just like, uh, I don't know. We're going to head back to Westchester. Oh, my God. Rag, I, I got to tell you. What? Dialogue and what style man? points. This guy shows up in pants that have the crotch cut out of him, and he's got a monk <laughs> hairstyle. And he's still scoring babes better than anybody else. Plus, he has a mini games. hard dick. He has the yep. smallest dick on earth. <laughs> He's got nothing to look forward to. <laughs> Who are you fooling, frat boy? <laughs> dude, your dick is minging, dude. <laughs> I don't look forward to you, frat boy. You got boy. a minging ass, good. small ass, mini hard dick. Shit. You're right. My dick is small. <laughs> so what are you going to do about that? My pubic overgrown, which so makes my dick Apologize to all the ladies. I'm sorry, ladies, but um, I'll do you wrong again. <laughs> now, now, what now, did I tell you about keeping the Viking trim. skull? Okay, Viking Playing skull. CKY, CKY in London. CKY in London. Which I won't be there for because September 28th. 28th I have other issues. But coming to Baltimore the 20 what? Wait, say that all again about London because we all got stepped on. Say that okay. Time. Time Viking you know, Skull, man. Clutch, and then CKY are playing in London, and it's going to be the best show fucking ever. That's and I'm great. going. But besides that, I need to play Viking Skull right now, and I'm going to play track one. It's bad words, so I'm not going to say. I'm just going to say. Should I spell it? Here's 20 effects. So okay. Goodbye. And now back to Radio Bam thing. On. How the fuck do you say it? It's a serious. <laughs> yeah. On serious 28. Faction. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. We're back on air. This is Radio Bam. Serious 28. Faction is 3 in the morning. And Rockefeller. Look, who would have known that I had to go to L.A. tonight? Dude, how come I can never come with you, man? You got a girlfriend you have goddamn now, warrants, man. I, I don't know the warrants. warrants. <laughs> you got his girlfriend now, and I'm just like lost in the sauce. Well, you drink a lot. I know. <laughs> Damn, You're man. kind of a bad influence. Uh, I could be. But at least I'll have a, like, a lot of work done when you get back. I prefer you to hang out with Oz when I go away. But, dude, he's a frat boy who doesn't let me do shit. I can do kickflips, though. No big deal. <laughs> he sits there and watches the Lambda, Lambda, Lambda movies. He asked me how to do a pivot to fakie tonight, dude. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about that at a bar. <laughs> Come pivot on, man. Fakies? Pivot to fakies? The last thing I want to hear at a bar is a pivot to fakie. Thank you. Yeah. I always have these skater kids come up at a bar and they're like, dude, I almost got frontside flips to tail. Dude, I don't hear that frontside flip to tail. That's the last thing I want to fucking hear. I wanted to kill you when you were asking on the way home the other day. Seriously, Oz. <sighs> but, yo. Millionaire has like a fucking 15 grand watch on his wrist. If uh, I decide to shoot up again, you better hide that bitch. I'll be happy. I don't really care about it. I'm just kind of wearing it because uh, Phil won it. So and then he gave no, it to me. So I figured Phil. it was my yeah, duty to, to wear the diamond definitely. watch. Phil did a great job on that. Don't he lost his ass, Rob yeah. Scott. He did. How yeah, about Rob, Booth, though? Rob let's, Scott's let's, kissing let's, Phil's ass and he's not even here. Why don't you so wait? that means I'm not kidding. You're wasting time. Why don't you kiss somebody's ass who's here? Kiss Novak's ass and you might get some pussy. Kiss it, Scott. I'll suck your dick and swell. You rock. You might wind up getting pussy if you kiss Novak's ass. That was the best kiss ass you could come up with, you rock. <laughs> I could say, man, like you've aged not at all. Like your beard hasn't grown in. <laughs> Dude, you you're like 47. You're 24 and I'll suck you off. <laughs> Dude, you're 47. <laughs> yeah. That's you rock. You're as old as my goddamn dad, I bet. I know. Phil's 49, I think. No, Phil, is, Phil and I are the, think of the same age. Or Don you don't have the same age. My dad's 52 asking for 25 cents. Your Doesn't mom, Phil look 10 years older than him? him? All right. He looks I love you. as fuck, but uh, <laughs> age is just a number, man. Did you see the look on Vito's face when he found out how, how old I was? Cause You're like Vito's age. Yeah. That's probably why. Yeah. Vito's minging. Mm -hmm. Should we call? Remember when we biked to Delaware? Yeah. Oh, listen. Can I say oh, this about him kicking my ass? I love riding bikes. All right. And then I got the helmet. I got the clip-in pedals. Right. And I got the cool bike. And this guy gets on a freaking you know little mountain bike. He's wearing skater shoes. 
fucking kicks my ass all the way to Delaware, standing up on all the hills. And I'm like huffing and puffing, going, maybe I shouldn't ride with professional athletes. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you did great on that ride. I just, like, try these tricks for three hours straight, so, like, pumping up a hill is no big deal, really. Man, Dude's I was, on a mission, you were in great, you were great shape. You were I wasn't on a mission, I just, like, wanted to get up the hill, it was no big deal, really. Yeah. I follow his work ethics, though, because I'm worthless, so I gotta follow his steps. You know? See, you don't have to be worthless, but you choose to be worthless. He well, that's worthless. what I prefer. Is that a goal? See, he'll wake up in the morning and be like, God damn, we need to go to Kildare's grab a beer. It's like, why do we need a beer at fucking... 12. I don't know. You should be down here. Why do you grab a beer at 9? Why do you have to have a beer at 12? I don't know. Is that when cocktail hour starts? Dude, Novak drinks all day, every day. Oh. No, I don't. Sort of. I'm trying to go to the railroad party and uh, get fast company. Uh oh. Is it working out? He just left a message. Came on. Who did? Yeah. Let's hear it. Can we hear it? Oh, uh, sure. You guys want to hear it? For Ladies and gentlemen, it's 3 in the morning. You might be hearing this at 7, but uh, it's pretty late, and we're going to end up going to a party. And doing Kenneth shots Square. of hypnotic all night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that shit? Is that that light blue-ass <laughs> shit? Yeah. I hate that crap. It's like, yeah, You're we're a huge-ass ass party. Well, God that's the it. way it is, though. That's what they served us up with last time. Why do I like us, man? Hypnotic. I don't know, man. Every time we go away, you're always hanging out with this fucking frat boy ass. And I always have to defend you in front of Ben, man, because he don't really like you. But I yeah, I'm like, why do you like God? He's like, I don't know, he's a fat boy. I'm like, that's exactly why you right. shouldn't be hanging out with him. Here's the real party. Hey, real listen. Okay. New bag, what's up, bro? We're actually kicking it in my house, party. Kicking it. Uh, give me a call. Sounds like a wigger. <laughs> uh, pretty boring, but uh, I'm going to go get that pussy. That was totally boring. Sorry, guys. Late. Uh, I'd love to talk it. to you, but uh, this is Dick Farm here. Oh, well, the girlfriend is banned. It's kind of so time I'm to out. go. I'm going to play one last song. What is it, Tom? Tom, what is it? Him? Which one? Drunk on Shadows. What, do you have that shit? We nice. got that shit. Did you know that this doesn't come out until a week from now? Your birthday, right? Yeah, but but they sent it to me, so I, I, I figured I'd be the dick to play it. If you want to send a present, send it to There's Fairbanks. a lot of fans out there waiting. Send yeah. his present to Fairbanks. I figure the least I could do is play a song eight days before it comes out. Novak, you're so overmodulating right now, well, dude. Sorry. Yo, this is my favorite song in the album, by the way. <laughs> oh, cool. Drunk on Shadows. Let's hear this shit. Happy birthday, man. Then we're going to go out drinking. Thanks. Damn, Too man. late. All right, this is for my birthday. Drunk on Shadows, Radio Bam, Series 28. Later. That's Radio Band for this week. We're done. Tune in next week for more. You can leave now. It's Radio Band. Radio Band, everybody. Radio Band every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Band. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Band at Sirius Radio.com. Call Radio Band at 877 Porn Bag. That's 877 Porn Bag. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. On Sirius 28 Faction. Go big, big. Go home. Faction. Sirius 28.